Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome back to my studio here in Sweet Home, Oregon. We are back to finish our pouch today. Our pouch. I just got finished watching Tina and she made a beautiful pouch today. Shabby dabby doo da. Oh, it was beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, we are back to work on this and I hope, well, I hope finish it up. So we were on the front cover and we made a piece. <laughs> we have all kinds of pieces here, don't we? Because I cut that piece wrong, we are here to make a piece that will fit in here, but is that the one? No, this one. Okay, so how much of that blue is going to show? Not much up there because we trimmed most of it off. I think it's going to be okay. I think, I think, I think it'll be okay. Um, you know what I should have done was, I should have um, painted this with a um, heavy coat of gesso and then uh, painted the top with a uh, kind of a vintage brown color. Maybe a little sepia color or something like that. But let's go ahead and just ink it good and see if we can cover it. Is that the piece? Looks like it's cut crooked, doesn't it? Okay, so it's going to go right there. Now, I need to just get that Sometimes it's hard to see. And we'll find that little knife again. if we punched any of it out anywhere. Nope. Okay, so we need to cut that little piece off. And that will work out perfectly. So let's put this on the inside here. We'll put some on the outside too, but I wanted to get the main part of this inside frame done first. 
and then we'll bring up the outside a little bit or vintage the outside a little bit cover my knife so I don't stab myself and let's flip this this way and let's glue that down I do feel like we need something right there and right there um, I have this little lighter washi tape let's go ahead and use that Right about there. That'll just help strengthen the outside too. So that will be great. And I'm going to add... Whoops! Looks like my needles stuck in my nib there. That might not be good. Just going to run some glue there and over the edge. That will help strengthen up that fold a little bit. So while we have that out, let's go ahead and make one for here. This washi tape I got from Winter Time Crafts. a little bit here too. So I hope I have my mic on. I hope I'm recording. I have my timer set. We're good. Except for I can't separate the washi tape from the tape from the backing. There we go. That will be much, much better. I have just a little bit showing over the edge there. And a little bit showing over the edge up here. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and apply this piece now. Oh yes, that looks so much better. We better put our crease back in here first and make sure our washi tape is going to hold. Which it doesn't want to because this is a glossy surface. So just work it down in there so that that glue dries. 
and then better do the same over here. We want to be sure our book actually makes a book. Okay, perfect. Now let's, now let's, no, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I forgot to do this part. Grunge it up. Gotta have our grunge. Because this is kind of a grungy vintage one. still coming off over there so I'm going to apply some of this other glue. This is the Fabri-Tac. It'll be a little sloppier but it might glue down a little better against a glossy surface. Don't really know. Now we're ready to do this part. Hopefully this will glue onto the glossy. We better use this. This is the Fabri-Tac, like I said. Oh, oh my stomach growled. I'll probably let you know that morning time is coming to an end. Working towards the noon hour. Yep, here it goes. Growl, growl, growl. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Let's make sure this still works. Yep, yeah, works good. Okay, so we need to put something over that. So let's go ahead and glue this on there and then we'll cut it down to size. Now do we want it glued like that? Maybe we do. Want it far enough away from that edge so that the paper doesn't stick out. Okay, let's trim that down. go over the edges with some ink. OK, 
Okay. There we go. Let's see if it fits. Oh, please fit. Please, please, please. There we go. Perfect closure. The invisible closure. Okay. Now, what next? Let's go back here. And we have this piece to do. Let's see if this one will fit there. And we are putting a pocket back here. We're just folding this one up and it's going to become our back pocket. And it looks like it will fit fine. So let's grunge up our paper a little bit. We don't have to do the bottom because it's going to be hidden by that little pocket. Oh, that would have been good back there too, huh? Nope, going with the brown. This paper is really cool. I love it. I'm going to see if I can find some more of it because the old postcards and stuff in it will work perfect with... Um, sorry about my stomach. It is really growling. Um, it'll work perfect with all the vintage stuff we like to do. Okay, now let's cover this part of this one. And let's use a letter this time. Let's use the top of it. So let's cut it off up here. And let's cut it off right about here. Go ahead and remove that too. Now this will get cut at an angle once it's glued on. Oh, maybe I didn't make it long enough. I didn't. Oh. Well, let's find another one that will work. Maybe take the bottom of that one. Don't know. We'll see here. I was kind of hoping to get the top of it with the postmark. Um, if we cut it off right about there. On the back, right on the back. Okay, and there's that stamp. I'd kind of like to have the stamp on there. So let's put glue on this. That one does not have a glossy surface, so this will work. scissors so I'll get back in the camera.
Now let's trim that off. Not with those scissors, that's my sewing scissors. So it's going to be on the back like this. And that's just the fold of the, and it is glossy. So let's go back to the Fabri-Tac for that one. Oh, before we do that, let's grunge up our top. So that it's nice and dark. And let's do the sides. And let's go ahead and get this bottom while we're down here. Okay, now we'll use the Fabri-Tac. Okay, hold that down for a little bit. Um, then we wanted to put a pocket on the inside as well. Okay. Oh boy, that Fabri-Tac is really rolling out of there. Okay the inside here and let's see if we can find our other one that oh yes and we talked about leaving this piece attached right here to see if there was something we wanted to do with it and I think we'll have to cut it straight down and cut that little base off the bottom. That would be fine. It doesn't have to be from corner to from side to side and then we talked about making a little band out of that right there that we could use it for something but I don't know what we could use it for to be honest with you I think we'll just put the pocket on Okay, so the pocket's going to go there. And we do have this piece as well. It's a little bit bigger, a little taller. Oh, that one fits better. Let's use it. Okay. We'll put the glossy on the inside. And let's see if this one will fit. I think it will. Let's cut it right across the top here though. See if we can get that stamp in there. Don't know if we'll be able to. We will. Okay. So let's put our glue down and we can use the uh, glitter glue because this is just a little cardboardy paper. I 
I know I'm getting glue everywhere, aren't I? Woohoo! She loves her glue. Okay, that gives us a stamp. And I like that. I like having the stamp. Okay. And uh, this pocket has a little angle on it, and I like that. There we go. Okay, let's do a quick grunge up on that. And you can see that I'm really getting a dark um, ink on there. The, this is um, Versacolor. It's pigment and it is pine cone. Okay, so we are going to put that down right there. I'm going to use a Fabri Tac because this is the glossy surface here. And don't forget, we need to close up the bottom. And it will really put the ink out or the glue out, I'm sure. So get your towel to wipe away the glue. Okay. And We could put that on there. We might put that on there. Oh, look at this. That's embellishing. We'll get there. Okay. Well, it's all covered, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! Okay. We are ready to put the papers in. And they need to be a little inside of the book. Let me grab my big cutter. Because we know it cuts better than my little cutter. I wonder... only be that long. Maybe right there. Let's cut this right here. And that is three and a fourth. No, three and a half three and a half. And this is about two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by three and a half. So. off there and this off there ok 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six. Seven, eight, nine. So there's nine. And let's put one of these in there because we we really do need ten. At least ten per signature. Ten. So we have that for there. That's ten. One, two, three, three. Okay, so we need two. Cut that at, what was it? Three and a half? And then each of these were two and three quarters, I believe. how many that gives us. We'll have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. That one would be too small. Let me grab a piece of paper. Needs to get folded over to um, three and a half and three and a half, six, seven. So let's cut this at seven inches this way and then we'll fold it and we should have it, right? <laughs> I hope. Um, three and a half, three and a half, six, seven. Seven inches. Okay, then we fold it this way. And three and a half. And three and a half. So three, six, nine, and it's nine. 
amarela. Well, I thought there was another one of these somewhere. Okay, three and a half. not right. I did that one way wrong. Look at that. Oh, because I cut this one all wrong. That should be two and three quarters. This way. Bye. I got that way right. Two and three quarters. Yep, that looks better. Two and three quarters. And two and papers. Doesn't like that many. Two and three quarters. Seven, eight, nine. We need one more in there. Okay, two and three quarters this way. A three and Okay, so now we have three signatures, and I think we can get one more in there, don't you? Yeah, one more, because we're not going to put a bunch of stuff on the inside. Um, we just want to... One, two... Three. So we want to cut that at seven. So we can fold it over. Um, am I doing this right? This way. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, and then two and a half, so two and three quarters. Hopefully I don't have it too full. Three quarters right there. Okay, 
how many do we have? Three, six, nine, ten. Okay, let's do eleven. And eleven. Now these are different um, weights of paper. Okay. Two and three quarters. By Three and a half. Let's put eleven in here. And let's get eleven into this one. So let's see. Seven. Hold it this way. Oh, you have to forgive me. I gotta pause a second. Okay, I am back. I had to blow my nose. I am so sorry about that. I have, I've told you, developed an allergy to my cat and it is the worst. I guess all my life with animals has finally caught up with me. Okay, and two and three quarters. Just made it. Wow. Okay. I think it was this one. Needed one more. Was it this one? No. This one needed one more. So, there we go. So some of these are mostly plain. And then every other one has lots of grunge. Except for the centers. Okay. There's our book. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Woohoo! Okay, so we have four signatures there. Set those over there for a minute. Let me move this away. And let's move those up there. It just so happens right next to me here, I have my bin of uh, my bin <laughs> of mostly coffee dyed papers. There are some music sheets in there. That's where all my scrap pieces go for coffee dyed. Mostly coffee dyed. A lot ends up in there, but um, I have to go through it every now and then. Those needles go up there. And let's just scoot that garbage right over there. Let me put away my coffee dyed papers. So I don't slice any other ones up that I might need. Get rid of that. Let's put that up there for now. Grab my other bin here. Okay. Got this cleaned up a little bit. So we can get down and 
do some work. We're almost done here. Hang on. Okay. Oh, a little more. All right. Let's figure out what we have here. We have a spine that is one and a half inches. So if we have a spine that's one and a half, um, there's two and two. Let me go out here and we'll poke the holes from the outside. Right there, right there is about the center. We have four signatures. Let me just mark the center. Approximate center. Sorry about all the glue on my fingers. I'm a gluey girl right now. Okay, so that's our center line. And we have four signatures. Um, so we need to start the first one. Right about there. So what's that? Um, it's right about... Maybe here. So that brings us over half inch from center. Okay, half inch from center. Right here. Okay, that's going to be our first signature right there. And Hmm. Does that work? Half inch from center. First signature. Okay. Then we have one inch in between, so half and half is, would only be three. So let's go three quarters and three eighths, no, five sixteenths. gets rid of that line. Okay. Now, poking holes in the signature. The center of our box, oh, oh, no. It's one in one. There's one and three quarters. Okay. Let me see. Oh, it's almost three inches. Oh boy, I'm warm in here today. It's not usually this warm. Um, 
and a half, one and a half. Right there, okay. Right there is about center. So center, 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 center. There's our center mark on each one. Now, these signatures are just about as big as the book. So, we want to come down. Five-eighths of an inch, I think. There's a half an inch. Let's do half. So there's half an inch. Poke it back through this way. And the same way down here. Would we do a half an inch? And half an inch. just makes me mad. <laughs> Medic. Okay. Hang on, I'll have to get a band-aid here in just a second. Have a look at that for a second while I grab my banding box. Which should be right over here somewhere. Oh. oh goodness. There's a needle for the cat to try and get that in up there. Okay. Always keep band-aids in here. I'm forever poking myself or cutting myself. Now this is going to be a very funny band-aid. Fold it over the tip of my finger. These band-aids don't stick on very well, but it'll work for now so I won't bleed on everything. Of course it'll make it weird, weird, weird. Um, put in the signature. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. But that one's more vintage -y looking. Let's go with this one. Okay. 
before I forget, come back over to this side and erase all your pencil lines. So they're not all showing up over there. Because we're done with that part of it, aren't we? Okay. Now. One, two, three. And we need these to be. You know, this is kind of a crazy way to do it. Flip it to the inside right here. And we'll poke her holes, hopefully, not through my hand. And hopefully, I did not tip that upside down. And I just like to use a big needle that is got a softer point. Um, the reason I like it is because it um, just pokes a larger hole in the book. I'm going to start at the back of the book. Boy, I made that pretty tight there. I thought that looked awful close. Got them in the right holes. Back through the center. Oh, sorry. Off camera. I knew that band-aid would kind of get in the way. Oh, look at that. My needle went through, but my thread didn't go with it. Now, I kind of got these hooked together a little bit, so I had to break a thread on it. 
with one thread is not going to hurt it. Sorry, off camera again. I'm always off camera at this part. That bandy is in my way. Okay, signature one. And let's go to signature two. And that'll make it better for you. Make it better, better, better. Okay. So let me pause the video for a few. And I'll come back to you when we get the last signature in. Okay, I'm back. Got that last two signatures sewn in. So this is what the finished product looks like. No decorations. It's just a notebook. It's something that I wanted to make out of that Claritin um, packaging. I really like the way it turned out. It's a nice little um, notebook. Perfect for something. I don't know, you know. Um, it does seem to need something here on the front, so I don't know. That would look kind of cool to put some of that on there. You know, or that. But I have used up all our time today, so and I don't want to do a fourth, a uh, third, um, a third, uh, whatchamacallit on this, so. Uh, just looking for something really vintage -y. Well, I think what we'll do is I'll let you each decorate your own, make your own and decorate your own. Um, this is kind of cool. That would look kind of neat on the front with the stamps. There's that beautiful airmail one. Yeah, there's so many beautiful ones that could be used. Oh, this would be nice on the front. This one. Even just the stamps, you know, would be really nice on the front. There's not that big of an area. So, anyway. We're going to go with the Naked Journal for now. Um, and I guess, you know, let me know what you, uh, what you come up with. We've got our little pocket back here. And that's too big to go in there. Obviously, it can only hold a few things. Oh, look at that. I forgot to glue the bottom. Haha, <laughs> funny. And then we have our tuck spot here. And it's just a little tuck spot. Then we have our inside pocket here. And we have a place to put a picture here if we want. Now the thing with this pocket is, is this, whatever's in here, is going to have to be small enough that it doesn't get in the way of this. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that worked. Just a couple little things in there was okay. And then on the back, we have another little pocket. 
And there we go. So cute little journal just made out of a medicine box and it is ready to find a new home. So I'll probably put it on my Etsy site as a naked journal and it will be probably not very expensive. You know, time consuming though. You have to pay for time sometimes. But I may decorate it up just a little bit before I put it on there. But that's all I have for you for today. And I hope you had a fun time learning how to do this quick couple hours, a, a two hour journal. So it wouldn't have taken so long had I have fast forwarded through all my measuring and stuff. So I will fast forward through that. Okay. Here it is. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.